the earth, our home. It's in the perfect spot for life, known as the Goldilocks zone. Too close to the sun and we cook. Too far from the sun and we freeze. The earth had to have been placed in its precise orbit by an intelligent force in order to make our lives possible. Creationists have been saying that for years. As of February 2nd, 2011, they can never say that again. On March 6, 2009, scientists put the Kepler Space Telescope in orbit, and in just half its mission time, an infinitesimal glimpse into the sky, it found 1,235 planets, 54 of which are in the habitable zones of their stars. Five of them are the same size as Earth. The Kepler telescope only surveys one four hundredth of the sky, and it only examines a tiny fraction of the millions of stars in that section of sky. If it could see the whole sky, it would see over 400,000 planets. And that's just in our neighborhood of the galaxy. The Milky Way has 400 billion stars. The fastest vehicle ever built by human beings would take 4 billion years to cross it, 100,000 years at light speed. That amount of time encompasses all of human history. Just a small glimpse into a tiny fraction of our galaxy revealed over a thousand worlds. With so many planets out there, it's not surprising that we'd find many of them in habitable areas. We've been trying to tell creationists that this is probably the case, but they just didn't listen. And now, thanks to Kepler, we've been vindicated. Yet this doesn't even scratch the surface. There are 100 billion galaxies in our universe, separated by vast oceans of space. What does that mean? It means that your mind cannot comprehend the sheer number of Earths that are out there. Still feel like it was all put here just for you? And now, in deep space, astronomers are finding immensely powerful gravitational forces that they theorize could be caused by other universes. Our universe could be just another speck in a galaxy of universes, and so on and so forth.